this news update is brought to you by Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, March the 27th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Reports of changes in the top brass of the Barbados Tourism Authority. Barbados Today understands a number of senior officials is on the breadline. We'll provide more details as they come to hand. A sector in peril, the dire warning from members of the local credit union movement as they teamed up with the Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions to press the government to rethink its plans to tax their assets. At a news conference today, Halle Haynes, president of the Barbados Cooperative Credit Union League, unveiled the findings of a study which shows that 15 credit unions will record more losses and several others will see an erosion of the economic base. The analysis further indicates that the imposition of this tax will extract <clears throat> some $3.6 million from the movement at this time. The tax expense of this magnitude will remove resources from the credit union system that could better be utilized to cushion the impact of further increases in non-performing loans that would inevitably arise in an economy that is still in recession. The Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions says the Friendly Stewart administration needs to return to the drawing board and it's calling for dialogue. President of the CCCU, Aaron Mosley, says the credit union is even more relevant today in light of poor economic conditions. He lamented that policymakers often forget and fail to understand the critical role credit unions play. Any action that threatens, any action that is inimical to the growth and development of the credit union movement have to be viewed very seriously. And so today, the Caribbean Conference of Credit Unions urgently call for dialogue on this issue. Police are still hunting for two men who tied up, robbed, and beat two elderly people in their St. Peter home last night. Hudson and Alice Broom were accosted and robbed by masked men, brandishing cutlasses yesterday evening at their Richmond plantation home. The culprits got away with an undisclosed sum of money and the couple's car, a white Chevrolet Avio, registration number E234. Police are asking anyone with information to contact them at 211 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-TIPS. That's 1-800-8477. When Barbados Today visited the plantation, relatives said the couple, one said to be in the late 80s and the other in the early 90s were unavailable for comment. But a source close to the family said the order left the couple shaken and terrified. A local businessman is leading a lobby for Caribbean governments to fix high taxes on intra-regional travel and he wants tourism players to get on board. Robert Pitcher says travelers deserve a tax ease and tourism businesses who stand to benefit most should raise their voice on the matter. He warns failure to reduce taxes will continue to dampen travel across the region. My beef at this point in time is that we need not only one person or two persons to look at it, but we need every hotelier, the people who, who are in the, the industry, the hospitality industry, like all the hoteliers and the car rental companies and the people who is in the food business, bars and restaurants, who come to Barbados that make up a little over 20% of our tourism package here come out, come out as a group to be able to put some pressure on government to remove these high taxations. In sports now, records tumbled on the first day of the Barbados Secondary Schools Athletic Championships finals at the National Stadium. Pandemonium broke out at the National Stadium as Levi Cadogan of the St. Michael School smashed Shaquem Graves' record in the under-20 boys' 100 meters with a time of 10.41 seconds. 
The performance gave him automatic qualification for the World Juniors. Tremaine Smith of the Lodge School also kicked Mario Burke's 22.70 second record in the under-15 boys 200 meters out of the books. He crossed the finish line in 22.34 seconds. Action continues tomorrow when the king and queens of secondary school sports will be crowned. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power. On the regional front, Jamaican dancehall artist Vibes Cartel will have to wait another week before being sentenced. High anticipation about this morning's hearing at the Home Circuit Court came to naught as Justice Lennox Campbell put off the matter until April the 3rd. The delay is to allow lawyers representing Cartel and his three core accused to provide information to help in the sentencing. Internationally now, Pope Francis has met President Barack Obama in Rome for the first time with the contentious issues of abortion and contraception on the agenda. The Vatican said the talks touched on the rights to religious freedom, life and conscientious objection. The church backs doctors who refuse to perform abortions and is concerned at contraception in U.S. health care laws. That's been the 6 p.m. update. Join us again tomorrow morning at 7. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power.